love bugs is Ross. I'm back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favorite, and I definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended family, thank you so much for the beautiful vibes that you send me each and every day. You're opening up your lives to me to let me know what your empathic gift has impacted in your life or what has led you to know who you are um, is such a blessing that you're you're that you're feeling vulnerable enough and comfortable enough to allow me to you know to help you as you're helping me so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, what are you waiting for? Like and subscribe, even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload her next video. And if you feel like you're comfortable enough, go ahead and drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Or even if it's, you know, about the positive feedback in my video. Or just you tell me about your empathic gift that's just been placed upon you. And, you know, if you feel like the video has been informative to you or it just put you in a good place or you feel like you you have learned something from that, out of something that's taken out of your own life and you feel like there's somebody else that might need to hear it, go ahead and pass it on. Give me a thumbs up and like and even share. And, you know, I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video and thank you so much for stopping by. And... Today, my video is about Twin Flame 101, Empaths. We were made for this. We were made for this. There are some times we go through things and we're trying to understand, I can't make it. I can't do this no more. I don't want to do it. I don't, you know, you, you just come up with everything. But it's just a blessing that if an average person... An average person. Oh, I'm just sorry. I'm sorry. The the music. I'm just sitting up here telling y'all about what I already done. Skip the daggone um, meditation music. My bad. I'm so sorry. Um, the meditation music I'm listening to is thunder and rain, sleep sounds, white noise, fall asleep and stay sleeping with nature audio 10 hours. I'll post that link in the description box below. But yeah, we just go through so many things that... um. You know, we, I don't understand how the heck we made it. <laughs> I really don't understand how the heck we made it. But we were built for this. You know, it's just like many, 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 many millenniums ago. We signed that contract saying we were going to take that oath and just be in it to win it. We were just a ride or die. You were a ride or die chick. You were a ride or die man, whatever. You were there. You were built for this. Because I'm telling you, average folks, average people, there is no way, no way that things you probably have dealt with in your life that an average person would have been able to deal with and probably didn't fly over the cuckoo's nest after they dealt with it. Or something worse than that, but I'm not going to mention that. I'm not even going to speak that in existence for nobody. But it's just sometimes we feel like we don't have that courage or strength to defend ourselves. Because I, I know it can be hard at times where... You can be going through something, and it, it can be really traumatizing. It can be really frustrating, and you can get really angry because you're trying to understand why do you keep going through that rotating door? Why do these people keep gravitating towards me? Why do I keep going through all these things? But you go through these things for a reason. It's just like our lives. It's just like when we're being reincarnated. It's like the thing is our mission in our life. We were supposed to correct something that we weren't able to correct from every lifespan we have spent. So basically, we have to go through this over and over again because sometimes you can probably feel like, Dag, is this ground heart day? Because I really felt like I've been going through this before because you basically have. In your last life, you basically have. So whatever you did not correct in the lifespan before that, lifespan before that, and so forth and so forth, this is your time. This is supposed to be that last time. You're supposed to get it right. And if you can't get it right this time, I don't, I don't know what's... <laughs> I just don't know. I just don't know. So we have to find that courage within ourselves because we have that. We have it. But sometimes it's so hard to see just because of the situations you might be in at that moment in time. It could be something you're going through that you really just don't understand. You're going to see your way out of it. But 
answers will come to you. You know, the universe will work with you. They see that you are putting that effort in and putting their, your, you know, your your two cents in, your 50% in, whatever. Trust and believe. There will be things that will fall in your lap that you didn't even think that you'll be able to come up with. Like, you know, I didn't even understand how I was going to get myself out of this. And, but then this happened. You always have, but then this happened. You know, and it, it's just like we have to find that courage within ourselves. We have to find that strength within ourselves that we know we have. We just have to really dive deep and look for it. Because it's like when you're going through things, sometimes it's really hard to see that positive light. It's really hard to see that, you know, that silver lining in the cloud, you know, until it's truly gone. So, you know, you have to know that you were built for this. You were made to be able to go through the things you're going through. You were placed in people's lives and people's paths for a certain reason. Sometimes it can be aggravating because just because of the people you're attracting because you have to pay attention to why you keep attracting these certain people. And I, I you know, I was told that before. You, you know, it's just like, well, why do I keep attracting these certain people? Why do it? Because it's what... The company you keep is because of the things that you're putting out. And it could not even have to be word for mouth. It's just the energy that you're putting out. So you have to pay attention to the things that you're putting out, the things, your thought process, what you're spending your energy on. Is it something negative or something that's positive? Because if you spend your, your, your basically your time on thinking about some positive stuff, then positive things will happen for you. And if you think about negative stuff, negative things will happen for you. So you have to basically think about the thought process and what you're soaking in and what you're putting out. So it's just like, you know, you have to basically psych yourself out sometimes. And it's like we have that power to control our thought process. We have that thought. We have that power to be able to control what we put our energy on. It, nobody has that choice but ourselves. You know, we have, you know, we feel like we're attracting certain things, but there's things that we can mentally and psychologically get ourselves out of. Sometimes you possibly can. You know, I understand that there's times that you can't get yourself out of things, but then there's things that we create in our own mind that we feel we can't get out of. And some people are comfortable with staying there and some other people are like, you know what, okay, I'm recognizing this is the reason why I keep going through the same things that I keep going through because of my thought process, how I'm putting things out into the world, what I'm spending my energy on, what am I putting, what am I letting my power go to? And, you know, we have to all realize those things. And it's all a thought process and it's all a time of healing. So you have to be able to know, you can be able to recognize the things that we need to change in. The things that we need to, you know, stop putting our energy in, you know. Um, it, it's just like things that we went through in the past. It's just like there's no possible way we can change the past. You know, if there's a time machine, then you know what? Go back in that time machine and change it. But, you know, if you it's just not going to be a point on changing it because you'll be messing up your future. Because everything in life that you have possibly went through, whether it was happiness, sadness, traumatizing, or devastating... Everything meant to happen that way for a reason. And you're the only one who's going to have to figure out that out on the reason why it has happened to you. Because these are the things that we go through. It's just like, you know, I'm in here and all these people go through so many things. And it's like so traumatizing. And it's just like we really go through serious awakenings for us to realize we need to become the people that's always been waiting for us just for that light switch to come on. It's always been there. We just have to be able to find ourselves again. So, you know, I hope you're able to, you know, get through these things. You know, understand the reason why you're going through your thing, you know, through things you're going through. Why you keep attracting the people you keep attracting. Why you keep, you know, things that are going on. So, I hope you were able to resonate with the video. I hope you were able to find something that, you know that you might have questions for on yourself because it's just like a lot of people I can be feeling like why do I need to put this video out but then it's just like I can't question the universe on these things you know they they want me to put something out for a reason I put that out so um today I changed my atmosphere I came in my room you know I said you know I said I'm just changed the atmosphere today so I said I want to chill out my room today so I'm gonna give y'all a message so 
Um, I hope everybody is having a blessed weekend, enjoyed their time. I sent my prayers out for each and every one. So I hope you enjoyed your weekend. You know, um, you know, it's been a long week for everybody. And, you know, send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. Know that you are blessed and highly favored and truly loved. And like and subscribe, even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. Or even, you know, drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Or even if it's about you dropping a line and even tell me about the positive feedback in my video. Or you tell me about your impact it give. Or if you feel like, you know, you really got something out of this you know, this content of my video and you would like to share it with somebody else, go ahead and pass it on. Give me a thumbs up and like and even share. And know that there's always somebody praying for your better days. And I will see you on my next video. Stay blessed and be safe. Love you. Bye.